<sighs> All right, we are vlogging today, but I'm having a little bit of a rough day right now I'm off to a rough start because I haven't had some good coffee But guys I went to Starbucks recently and I got this new thing I always get cold foam on top of my drink, but it's called like a golden cold foam. It's really good I'm gonna show you guys what it is Can I please have a, um, my favorite donut? You want your favorite donut? <laughs> oh, and you and, and you want a cake pop? And I have a triple espresso on ice two pumps of the honey syrup and uh, a little bit of oat milk you guys have like this golden cold foam right on top uh we do not have that here i'm sorry about that oh, oh. i'll take white chocolate macadamia i'm continuing to have a worse day today is your tires yeah see my day is just <gasps> oh Nico, I just scraped both my, of them i just scraped my whole tires i don't even want to vlog anymore are you ready for your favorite donut are you ready for your birthday cake, Pop? Neo! Ah! Ah! <laughs> he makes me in a little bit of a better mood. Here we go, let's see if this is gonna make my day better or worse. Damn, that might be my new thing. The olive oil one was good, the golden foam, but this is... Uh, it's good. It's good, right? Not my kind of thing, but... Yo! What is up, Camp Out? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. And you turn on your post notifications. Stay tuned to our family adventures. What does family mean, Abella? Family plus equals family. Channel plus family equals family. And I made that up so nobody can take it from me. So, guys, we are going to buy unnecessary things that Crystal wants. Because that Crystal so thinks she is an educational provider. Oh, she's not. But we're going to go buy some educational toys for the kids. Boy. So let's go to the store. It makes so much sense why mommy wants to come here now. It has a giant big sale, 50% off. Oh my gosh, look at this! <laughs> Abella, you can pick only two items that you want to take home. I just said four. You could get four because you're four. Oh, I can get four because I'm... Okay, but they have to be on sale. Oh, okay. I was thinking this for brother. <laughs> but that doesn't count as one of hers. That counts for her brother. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. We're gonna walk out with so much stuff. They had this at the school, you remember? Oh yeah. Here, look. Wow. He's he's entertained by this. Wow. Here, tell Mama you want this. Go give it to Mama. He wants that. This store is crazy. There's so much stuff. Abella, we should buy this. It's science experiment stuff. You see how you did in class? Like you made the explosion thing. You want to do that? What? Dude, this is so fun. This says bouncing bubbles. It means bubbles that don't pop. You blow the bubbles and they like bounce. And then this is glowing ice. Ice that glows. Oh no. Ugh. Rocket fuel foam. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm getting this. This is to make a volcano. Getting a volcano. Okay, daddy. That's so cool. A five minute timer, a one minute timer. Yeah, but these are expensive, these are. And a 10 minute timer. Okay, we don't need. You're the one who wanted to come to the store, yeah, not me. So it's your fault that I'm buying stuff. It's your fault, right, Abella? <laughs> Dude, do you know what this is? The ABCs in sign language. Go tell mommy you want this. She'll definitely let you have it. Mommy. What do you, what do you no, mean? Do Why did we come here if we don't need to learn stuff? Can I have this? Of course. Yes. Wait, did I already get four? I think so. One, two, three. Where's the other one? Oh, you need one more. I need one more, Mom. Okay. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Can I buy this? Not really. Wow. But guys, I think Neil's really going to like this. It's a magnetic oh, vehicle. Cool. Neil, you want the cars? It says, what's the purpose of it? Nice. You want it, Neil? No, 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 no. Look how excited he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neil, I don't think this was meant to color on. Yeah, you, you make the rules. Wow. Wow. Did we buy a million bajillion toys? Yes, it's sadly. All, it's all your fault? No, it, I literally came in here for like two things and I got those two things. You on the other I did hand. nothing. Neil, I have green or... <laughs> Or purple. Which one do you want? Green. Green or purple? 
Green. Green. Abella, do you want to have the purple? I do. One. Okay, no, just two is okay. If you guys, two. yeah, two. <laughs> you see, it's so worth it. <laughs> so today, I promised Abella to take her to the coolest place ever. They do different cotton candy, like decoration or whatever, like different cartoon, and we're gonna pick Pikachu or Unicorn. Unicorn. Unicorn? All right, let's go. All right, so this cotton candy must be really good because we gotta wait in this like just to get in. That's crazy. So I got good news and I got bad news. Good news, we could get cotton candy and they have really cool flavors. Bad news, the people in front of the line have been waiting for an hour and a half and they said the line is longer now so we're farther back. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, we're gonna be here for like an hour and 40 minutes. No. You wanna stay waiting, Abella? No, yeah. but there's, there's a spot I can have the car and then like just hop them in the back. We should go in the car. I should go in the car with me, you and Neo. And you stay in the line for my car and candy your knees. Uh, <laughs> that actually sounds like a really good idea. I don't mind. It's actually very peaceful for me. It'll be very therapeutic. I've been sitting in line for an hour and a half so far and Abella came to join the party because I'm getting close to the front of the line. Abella's gonna get the unicorn. This little monster's gonna get Cookie Monster. Can you get up, Neil? We made it inside. What are you gonna get, Neil? I don't want the Neil Pandas. The hair is spiky. Neil, you see that? Oh. Daddy's going to Neil. Neil, Neil. It's good, Neil? Mmm. <laughs> Can I have some? <laughs> For me. Look at the bow. Wow. That's so cool. Look. Neil, look. It's literally all falling apart. Neil had it for two seconds and he knocked down the eyes and the cookie. And, and he's still not eating. He doesn't understand that you have to eat it. Good job. Good job. <laughs> it's not a toy. He thinks it's a toy. Is it good, Bella? Watch it, baby. <laughs> Jeez. It's crazy. That's a horrible idea. You know, all, these were all your ideas. I had nothing to do with this. He's literally bumping against walls, dragging on the floor, and taking a bite. No! No! Oh my god, Neil. No, you have cotton candy in your hair, dude. Neil, you have to be calm. He's like literally just a baby in it. <laughs> <laughs> Waited two hours in line and Neo just dropped his on the floor. Neo, look up. Look up. Mama, is it yummy? <laughs> you can get Neo, stop. <laughs> He's gonna get <laughs> Wait, hey. No, buddy. Can you see? This kid is crazy. Bella, you're so good. You're such a good girl, Bella. I'm eating the bowl. Is it yummy? Yeah. I just put Neo back in the car. That was the most worst idea, chaotic event I have ever done. Even more than Target, like a couple vlogs ago. That was crazy. He is crazy. Do not let his innocent face fool you. When they say like the second child is like horrible, it's like facts. Like he is just crazy. But he's so cute. Boy, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you don't want to hear it? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we know the reason you guys clicked on this video is because Neo's cochlears aren't working. So there are problems with Neo's cochlears that don't allow him to hear well. But first of all, we wanna say JTC, the camp that we just went to for Neo was such a great experience. We learned so much and we created such a, like, a cool family. Yeah, I think that part of being like in an environment where you really feel understood and you feel like anyone that you speak to, any other families that we spoke to, it was so nice to hear all their different stories. But the best part was probably hearing about the teenagers and yeah. like there was a panel. How they're doing. Yeah, it was really emotional for me because and you there had was to a, ask some questions. There was a boy in there and I just like 
they're just so proud. They're they're so proud about being deaf, wearing cochlear implants, and I just picture Neil being up there one day. Yeah, no, for sure. And like cracking jokes about yeah. like his own experience, and so I think that that was probably very impactful. The, just, the biggest thing I think we took out of it is that we no longer feel alone in Neil's hearing loss journey. They give us all their numbers, so anytime we have any question about Neil and his implants or or he's at with his hearing, we could contact them because a lot of people just like us feel very alone in this hearing loss journey and JTC has allowed us to build a community and a family. <laughs> JTC is a non-profit organization so we're gonna put a link for the donation down in the description. If you feel like it, if and you, you want to, if you can, you could donate to them because honestly like it's changing so many lives and we are gonna help JTC as much as we could yeah. to keep them going because that was honestly like one of the greatest experiences of our lives. It's definitely life-changing and I think it brings us a lot of hope and and we want to be able to give that to other families because not a lot of people know about JTC. Yeah. I feel like more people need to know especially if you have a child who has hearing loss and and you're choosing hearing aids or cochlear implants like you have so many questions and they really do an amazing job yeah. at advocating for these amazing children. And since summer session impacted us so much and changed our lives so much we want to sponsor some families for next year's summer session so next year's summer session we're gonna be be in contact with some families and sponsor them and to go and change their lives because honestly like it's, it's just so amazing it's so amazing but I want to get into why Neo's cochlear implants are not working so I've actually been having these thoughts in my head about his cochlear implants because if you don't know about cochlear implants what they have to do to turn them on and to adjust them is something called mapping so they have to put them in a booth and see the way he's hearing and adjust how he hears sound so i always thought he was not hearing sound correctly and one of the really cool things that we were able to do at jtc is get a second opinion on his current mapping and they were able to explain to us like exactly what he has access to and what other sounds he doesn't have access to so they recommended us a very good audiologist um one of the best in the world and it's located in san diego and we're on a very long waiting list to get in hopefully we get in by the end of this year for the mapping because we were able to figure out that he actually doesn't have access to certain sounds which is the reason that he wasn't able to say certain certain words yeah so like he he better. says like for example the sound of p is supposed to come before t and he says t so what we're all thinking as a group is that maybe he doesn't have access to the sound of p and it's really hard because neo is so small so it's not like he can tell you like oh yeah. i don't hear that and yeah. that's the challenging part about having a toddler who, who's deaf who's deaf but who's Be still learning language yeah. and can't really tell you because when they're older they could be like oh i'm not hearing that correctly i'm not hearing this correctly but neil can't say that so that's where it's very difficult for us it's something that's completely out of my control i don't have control to you know change his mapping or do anything like that adjust the way you hear sound like i have zero control of that i only have control of doing therapy with him and taking him to therapy and teaching him as much as i could but if he's not hearing what i'm saying correctly you know that's that's what's stressing me out so hopefully he can get in soon and start thriving because all the therapists say he's like right there into like exploding into just talking so much he's just like right there and i feel like yeah. once we get the proper mapping he's really gonna explode yeah we're really excited because we can see just how much neo has like advanced and the little like small changes that they made which is like so cool just to hear his little voice yeah, and he, all the new words he's saying he's, he's starting to do the h sound like hi like his favorite thing now is hi he's always like hi <laughs> so he could finally say hi and he yeah. help he, help he okay. learned all these in the past two weeks like he yeah. didn't have those words so. which shows us just like how important it is to like really be on top oh, of and something else he's doing is singing clean up whenever he's cleaning up even by himself like in a corner he'll be putting his toys away he'd be like because in class they always were seeing cleanup so like he's doing so good like we're so excited for him to continue thriving and i know that he's gonna neo is gonna change so many people's lives oh yeah for sure so before we end this video guys i do want to say that if you know someone who's recently found out that their child has hearing loss or is going through a similar situation through, as us yeah I would highly encourage you guys to tell them about JTC, the John Tracy Clinic. They also have a lot of different resources online that we didn't know that they had. They and have they, online classes and it's all free. 
that would have been incredibly helpful. It's a very difficult process at the very beginning. Like now we talk about it and we feel like, as you can tell. I feel like an expert on hearing loss. <laughs> more comfortable, more confident, but it's literally because now we feel like we know where to go and I wish that we would have known about JTC like at the very beginning, it would have made a really big difference. So my hope is that more parents who are going through a similar situation as we have with Neo's hearing loss journey are able to have access to better resources and a much better support system. So that is it for today, Camp Fam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The shout out of the day goes to Chewy Plays. Shout out to you, Chewy Plays. If you want to be like Chewy Plays and get a shout out from us, all you gotta do is subscribe to our channel, ring that notification bell, and comment done down below. So that is it for today, Camp Fam. We love you, Camp Fam, and we'll see you later, fam. Peace.